Hello, everyone. It's episode 47 of the Nightmare Podcast. I am Christy, and I am joined by... Philip And Brian. And on this week's podcast, we are going to be talking about Orphan and Orphan First Kill. Yay. My choice. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so excited. <laughs> so, for me, I'll start it off. All right. Since I chose the movies. <laughs> Um, Orphan came out in 2009, um, and this one just recently came out, the new one just recently came out. It's a prequel to Orphan. Um, I love Orphan. When it came out, I thought it was something, um, fresh, something new, different. Esther's really a crazy kid, (laughs) right? Yep. Or what you think is a kid. (laughs) Big twist. I don't know, should we say the twists? I mean, it's been over 13 years i think it's okay okay well some people well, yeah, still people, haven't watched it but if they haven't watched it then or haven't watched clearly don't want to watch it <laughs> well there you go so actually spoilers <laughs> twist being that she's actually an adult she's actually a 30 year old female so i think she's 33 in the new or no she's 30 in the new one she's 33 in this one that's right because yeah. this one's a couple couple years later after the new one um but yeah I love Orphan. All the uh, great actors, great actresses in this movie, um, really well made. Um, you want to just talk about Orphan first, and then we'll talk about yeah. the new one. All right. So we'll just talk about that one first. So yeah, it's it's one of my favorites. I, I give it like an eight out of ten. What do you think of Orphan? We're going to talk about that one, then we'll talk about the new one. Um. Yeah, I liked I liked it. Um. The only I think they could have cut about twenty minutes out of it, but other than that, um, I thought it was great. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I guess after we talk about the new one, but um, the original I liked better. So yeah, I do like the original one still a little better. Um, um, yeah, she just I don't know after after watching both, you know, in two days. I, I don't know. She looks weird in the, in the new one, to me. Well, and I know she's, you know, uh, supposed to be older or whatever. But like in the first one, you can't tell that she has that disease. Well, yeah, because she Cause, was a kid. Yeah, she's a kid. Yeah. In the yeah. other one, it's like Th- they had to film it like a certain way for it to look similar. Yeah, and she just. I mean. But even the whole like, time you're like, oh, this kid looks weird. Yeah, but I guess the face. Oh, the face, because her face is way more mature looking. Well, she's yeah. 24 now. Because, she was 11 yeah. when she did this one. Yeah. yeah, but I, I mean, I think a lot of people have complained about that a little bit. But I mean, I'd rather them do whatever they need to do to use her than to use some other girl. Though. Yeah, I, I preferred that they had filmed it the way that they did rather than like trying to CG her face over another kid right or just or, just, or use a whole other girl you know i wouldn't want them to do that either yeah. so i know they the actors in the new one had some of them had to wear lifts in certain scenes to make them look taller than what she really is yeah. you know to make her look like a kid but i thought they did a decent job with that because again i wouldn't want them to use a, a different actress so that's what just what they had to do yeah um so everybody just needs to take that into consideration you know well, yeah, I mean, I didn't mind either, either movie, but that was the only thing that was kind of weird. So, other than that, I, I like I like the first one better, or the story better than the new one. The new one is probably, you know, a better shot, better, or, you know, better quality or whatever, but, um, well, and the, all the CGI and stuff and the, yeah. the fire were... Um, I mean, it looks cool, but I don't know. Well, I think they tied it in well. Oh yeah, yeah. I guess we'll just go ahead and talk about yeah. both of them. But yeah, they—I mean, they tied it. They tied the uh, new movie in well with this one. Um, I like the new one. Uh, like I said, they tied it in well. Um, I was thinking there for a while when she was with the family there was things going on that were similar to this one yeah it was like same things were happening or or being said or or whatever and and so i'm kind of in my brain i'm kind of like 
okay, they're just kind of repeating some stuff. I hope something else different happens, you know, to make it more interesting. And then, boom, the new one has a twist. So, then it made it more interesting for me when that twist kind of kicked in about them. So, I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, um, I, I like the first one more. Um, right, anything with Vera Farmiga, I'm just going to watch because I yeah. love her. Yeah, I do too. Um, but I think the twist in the original was more interesting than like the twist with the new one um and granted i think my only gripe was that with this new one is that it took too long for them to do it took too too long to make because i mean a 13 year difference i mean right um with something like this it i probably would have done a sequel instead because after watching the original you already know how this new one ends up right because they talk about it so it, that, that was kind of like my only thing but like well i already know how it ends so it's kind of like i'll just watch it to watch it um but granted the new one has julia styles which i like her too it's a very different side for her yeah like she's a lot she's very dark yeah i know <laughs> That's part of the twist. Like <laughs> you're like, oh. <laughs> I'm just like, hey, she she got the like teeny bopper face. But I like that. <laughs> yeah, I I love Julia Stiles and and then her being the mom for Damien too. Yeah. And then she falls. Yeah. Off kind of the, kind of the same way. The same way. The same way. As she does um, with the Omen, it was kind of like, oh. <laughs> yeah. So like, I, I like Julia and the new one. Um, I don't think the twist was kind of well as like well done as what the original was um you, you kind of like see it coming to well, a degree i didn't see that coming i didn't either yeah. i didn't see that coming at all yeah i, I we're not smart as brian <laughs> probably well i mean well. i also watch a lot <laughs> <laughs> um but well they say there's only seven stories right so yeah i so, guess but um after a while you figure it out <laughs> but i mean the, the new one isn't terrible um I I would personally go more with the original though. So I don't know. The original has like a grittiness to it that it fit well, and the entire time it's probably like one of the better child killer movies out there. Well, this is the up thing. until the twist at the end. Orphan's supposed to just been orphan. It's supposed to be this one movie. We weren't yeah. supposed to get any kind of prequel. You can't have anything else after that because she dies in this. Or does she? I hope so. If she's gonna be drowned in that frozen <laughs> lake, I think. I, I'm dead. telling you, they could have had it pick up like right at the end there, to where she just crawls out of the water. Yeah. I mean, they do it with everything else. Well, this is true. Yeah. But Michael Myers is still alive. Yeah. yeah. And well. <sighs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> I think what happened with this new one, though, it it kind of lost the charm of this one when you watch this one and it you kind of i don't know you because they tell you the twist of this one in the beginning of the new one yeah, yeah. so yeah, you definitely have to watch the old one first yeah, yeah so the the your first initial shock when you watch this one of the twist is kind of gone yeah so i so, do i do think that so, and that's why i kind of i think they kind of had to throw in that other twist Right. Yeah. You had to for the, it, for the new one. Well, like I said, they just kept repeating stuff, though, of what they were already yeah. doing in here, so they had to throw but in something to make it completely different. What I liked about the new one, though, is that they explained the black light. Oh, yeah. They yeah. showed the, the whole black light the, paintings, yeah. the, her, the piano. So, um, I, I liked how they kind of brought back touches from the original. Mm -hmm. and, and yes, like, they did. Oh, so this yeah. is you know, where it came from. Yeah, that's how they tied it in really well. Um. But yeah. I do think this. I thought this, though. Um, I said this to him. I don't think it should have been called Orphan First Kill, though. It should have been called Esther. Because that shows yeah. you how she becomes Esther. Yeah. And if she's already in this mental inst institute and she's 30 years old, she's already killed before that. This is not her first kill, I'm sure. So, I just think it should have been called Esther. I think that well, would have been a better yeah, title for the, for the movie. What? They talk about her killing, like... The people in the circus or whatever yeah where she came from right so. yeah so it's i don't know esther yeah. would have been a better but yeah i, I would agree the, 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 the title's title. kind of misleading um i don't know what else <laughs> i mean 
I, th- I think it was good that they brought the actress back. Um, I think even the director said if, she, if they weren't allowed to have her back, they weren't going to do it. So Yeah. I'll tell you what was well, I mean, weird. She's Esther. Weird for me was, you know, it's a kid doing all this, or supposed yeah. to be a kid doing this. I don't know, it's just weird. And then, I don't know, once you figure out that she's a 30-year-old woman that's yeah. playing a 9-year-old kid kind of makes it even more weird i don't know it's just weird seeing a kid you know braining a nun on the side of the road (laughs) well it was weird when in this one she's actually a kid she's 11 years old when she filmed this and she had to do that scene you know with the dad at the end and she's got the makeup on looking like a woman and she's trying to seduce him is what she's doing so that's a little weird if you think about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's very weird. <laughs> but yeah, but that's what makes this cool though is that you know, she's she can looks like a kid and plays a kid, but yet she's an adult. So that just makes it why it's different and than other movies. I like that. I like Esther. I like the character Esther. I would have liked though them to go back further. I wanted to see the circus. I wanted to see more of her, like when you know when she was born, and all about her, her actual family and, and all that. I wanted to see more of all that stuff than you know her being with the family before this family. But that's cool, whatever. <laughs> and so I'll make another one because she paints the house in this one, and then she's in you know yeah. Well, the, or no, I guess that's the is it the house or is it the Sarn Institute that she paints? The Institute. The Institute, that's what it is. Yeah. So, yeah. But I it's mean, tied in very well. Yeah, I mean, they released the new one in like a l- small amount of theaters. And right. It was, it was making money. So, I don't know like what views they're getting on like Paramount Plus or the video on demands and that because they don't really release that. But, right. Yeah, I mean, if it does well, I can see them doing another one. But what would the other one be though? I mean, they could do like you were talking about. They could do the prequel to the prequel. Yeah. yeah. Star Wars doing it. Yeah. This is true. Marky and Orphan. Yep. I, I, okay. I'll, I'll be down for that. <laughs> well, if anybody or, wants to watch the Orphan movies, they are on Paramount Plus. Yeah. Paramount Plus. Has both of them on there. And Brian doesn't own any Blu-ray or anything, so I had to bring in my crappy DVD, which is a rental it was from movie gallery and i bought it from movie gallery when they were going out of business <laughs> so, so i need to upgrade oh, yeah i put the blu-ray yeah. on my wish list and then i pre-ordered the new one on amazon yeah I, i'm sure walmart will have like a two-pack or something i'm sure but whatever all right well let's get out of here <laughs> <laughs> i'm starving <laughs> uh well, you're supposed to pick the movie for next week. What are oh, you going to pick? I'm, doing, I'm going old school. Oh, God. What do you know that's old school? The Birds. The Birds? Ooh. That's what we're watching. Uh, is that really what we're going to watch? That's what we're going to watch. Okay, I'm down. That definitely is old school. <laughs> Alfred yep. Hitchcock. Yep. The Birds. Going back. I like that movie, though. I do, too. <laughs> I love The Birds. I know a girl that's deathly afraid of birds. Like, Deathly afraid of birds. Who's afraid of birds? Uh, that's uh, girl, I don't know. Yeah, uh, uh, I've known her for for years. But like, if you're standing outside and a bird flies by, she freaks out. <laughs> like it doesn't even have to be close. Like she's just watching for birds all the time. And I'm like, has a bird attacked you? And she's like, no. <laughs> but I don't want them to. And I, I'm just like, well, what makes you think? It's it's going to. She's like, I don't know, but <laughs> I hate birds. I've right. never met anybody that hated birds. I hate when they poop on my car. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I hate I would, that too. I don't know. Like, I'm sure it's everywhere, but it's like it, it always freaks me out. Like back in Ohio, like they would all be just sitting on the power lines, like all like surrounding you. I'm like, okay, this is how I die today. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Yeah, they could if they wanted to, I yeah. guess. But it's probably more fun to poop on people than try to kill them. <laughs> probably. <laughs> what do you think, Dylan? He does. He likes pooping on people, too. <laughs> <laughs> I can 
weirdo. Um, yeah, so birds. That's what I want to watch. Okay. And, uh, I guess we're watching birds. Yep, we're watching birds. I'm down. I've seen it a lot, but... I was I've seen it a lot. <laughs> yeah. I think we all have. Well, we get to talk about it next week. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else do you want to talk about, Philip? Man, let's talk about... Let's talk about the restaurant. Cause Let's talk about the restaurant. Literally all I'm doing. And Patrick and Star and, and Christy as well. We've all had to go and get our um, food handler, food safety cards, um, our alcohol cards. It's called a TAM card here. And then tomorrow we go get fingerprinted for our sheriff's cards. Um We've taken down all of the uh, the wood on the front of the building. I so, took a video. I'm going to post. So it looks uh, so you can see the garage doors and everything. Uh, we're we're at the finish line. Um, the fire marshal is coming by today, um, hopefully, and then um, if we get approved for our temporary permit, we can open. And uh, as soon as we know a day. We will tell everybody. So uh, uh, it it should be soon. I, I don't want to say a day yet because it'll add a month to it or whatever. But um, everything's looking good for for very very soon. So uh, and hopefully it happens soon because <sighs> we need to have it happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I need some money coming back in instead of money going out. Right. So, uh... Is Corey still hiring? Corey's still hiring, right? Yes. So, um... Excuse me. We're going through the hiring process. We've got some people. Um, if you're a... I know we're looking for a lead line cook and a couple of, a couple of just line cooks. Um, I know we've got a couple of bartenders we could probably use an, a couple of more bartenders and some servers uh, and then I think um, we need some kitchen people dishwashers and uh, uh, stuff like that so um, I'm sure uh, if you go on um, or if you want to send your resume send it to Corey C-O-R-Y at Nightmare Cafe lv.com and that will that will go right to him if you message us on social media or facebook or christy's personal thing or my personal thing or anybody else's it's it's just going to go away uh, yeah Corey's it, doing the hiring we're not yeah we're not hiring anybody <laughs> and you know there's really nothing you don't need to contact us about it. It uh, if you just email Corey, he'll take care of it. Uh, he'll look, or we're, you know, we're going over everybody's applications and all that stuff. And uh, um, so you know, get it in as soon as possible. And uh, so we're hiring people right now um, to uh, to hopefully open in the next couple of weeks. So uh, if you uh, if you're interested. C O R Y at Nightmare Cafe LV dot com. Um, and hopefully we get open soon because uh, everything's done, everything looks good. Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to, I'm ready to do it. To do some stuff, uh, serve some food. It all looks good, tastes good. Uh, the place is looking great. We've got it decorated. Uh, or you know we're still in the process of decorating final touches and stuff but uh yeah i think everybody's gonna love it yep. it it'll be fun i think so too and uh we've decided that we're gonna open around 9 a.m we're gonna open at 9 a.m and then we're gonna have some breakfast and brunch type stuff um and then we're doing a legit brunch on on the weekend you know um Bloody Marys and you know the whole nine yards uh, but through the week you could get you know some breakfast items uh, uh, and then we'll be open until around 11 we're, we're gonna play with the hours at night and just 
kind of feel out what you know our area here is doing um, you know just based on what everybody else is doing that's around between 11 and 1 a.m. is when everybody closes uh, on the weekend and then you know it's usually 10 or 11 on on the weeknights so we'll just play it by ear if people want to hang out all night and buy stuff we'll be there till they go home yep. or we have to send them in a taxi <laughs> so uh yeah and trust me we'll there's no way you will not know we're open because we'll put it everywhere we can possibly put all it all i do in my life is post yeah so Half my day every day so you'll know <laughs> so uh because we keep getting a lot of emails you know it's like when are you going to open what day are you opening what if we knew we would we would have already we said it. posted it so uh um we love the excitement and the the interest though uh, oh yeah so we don't really care if you email us all the time it's just you know you just got to get it to the right person if you want to get hired um so that's that um we have a uh a huge uh month of october coming up and christy has planned out a lot of planned uh, some stuff. fun stuff to do each saturday uh, do you want to yeah. tell them about that so i have come up with nightmare toys spooky saturdays for october so we have something fun for every saturday in october for everybody so um obviously the first we announced a little bit already that felissa rose and dave sheridan will be here doing a signing for the first we will also be having jeremy the balloon guy right yes jeremy the balloon guy will be here and we'll have a sale and do you know other fun stuff with the signing so that's on the first on the eighth we're gonna just gonna do a sale a 24-hour sale it's going to be all funko products anything funko will be 20 percent off normally we do 15 we're going to do 20 so just be for 24 hours all funko products um 20 percent off on the 8th on the 15th we're going to do a giveaway we'll do an online giveaway um we'll have one r winner from instagram and we'll have one winner from facebook i think it'll be fair to do to do it that way uh we haven't came up came up with anything of what we're going to give away yet i'll announce that later but we will have an online giveaway on the 15th and it'll just be another 24 hour thing we'll announce it 24 hours later like on that sunday afternoon then i'll announce the winner and then the following sunday or saturday on the 22nd i'm going to do another 24 hour sale and it's going to be all Mego products um will be 20 percent off for 24 hours uh, so we'll do that and the sales and all that are all, all going to be online and in store so if we're doing a pop-up sale it's going to happen in the store too and then the 29th the last saturday is our halloween party we're just gonna have halloween party all day long um we're gonna have another sale that sale will be 15 percent off and it'll be saturday sunday and monday so that sale will be three days in a row um 15 percent off of everything that's in stock um we have jeremy the balloon guy coming again for the mm -hmm. halloween party um i already have everything ready to go for treat bags i'll have a um, hundred treat bags made up for the first 100 people they'll have like little toys and candy in the treat bags um we'll have snacks drinks peanut butter and jelly sandwiches <laughs> well, um all kinds of snacks drinks and we'll have you know of course horror movies are always playing in the store we'll play some halloween stuff halloween music playing um come dressed up i'm encouraging my employees to be dressed up um i already tried on my halloween costume it's hot in it yep it is so yeah come have fun with us on saturday the 29th for a halloween party too and we might come up with some other things happening for that day too for the halloween party don't know yet still coming up with some stuff so yeah spooky saturdays in october with nightmare toys all right so uh what else what else is happening let's see we're just trying to get the restaurant opening yeah yeah we've been working so much on the restaurant that it's we just i mean we just that's the only focus it's killing me but as soon as we get that going then we can move around a little bit and hopefully um everything will uh you know it's starting to come back um we're starting to get 
new stuff in and um, I think it'll all it'll all be hitting on all cylinders as soon as we get get that going yeah um, and if all else fails just get drunk <laughs> So. <laughs> have the nightmare christy lemon drop yep it's on the menu yay yay <laughs> uh i don't know what else we have going are um, we doing the season screamings have we decided or not i don't know yeah we haven't um, decided yet but we're doing texas frightmare yes we are in texas frightmare we uh got the word the other day that we got approved for that and uh so we got our rooms and uh, we paid for our booth. We have a, a booth uh, that's three times the size of our last one. So uh, now last year we had, a, or the last couple of years, we've had uh, just a 10 by 10. This is gonna be 30 by 10 in the new um, uh, convention center that, that they're moving the show to, which, man, that's, yeah, that's needed. Um, so now you're not gonna be stuck at the airport uh, they say it's in a really nice area with lots of bars and restaurants mm-hmm. and hotels and everything is around every, you know, around the convention. So, uh, you know, you can go and, and get food and at a reasonable price or probably more reasonable than at the airport. Uh, have more options. Of yeah. Food. That's yeah, the problem and, too. And you're not going to be in the basement with no Wi-Fi and hot hotter and than sweaty hell. Sweaty. Well, I don't know. It still could be hot. But oh, yeah. But at least you won't but be in the basement. Like yeah. Won't be as crowded, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hopefully. I uh, mean, I know it'll be crowded, but. Yeah, but in the convention center. In the convention center. Out. Yeah, it's it's hopefully it'll out. be spread out. Yeah. So yeah. I think being hot might help with it being, you know, there. But maybe more spread out than down there. Yeah. Where it was. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be great. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh and of course, we're doing Days of the Dead, you know, in Vegas. Mm-hmm. Creepy Con. Creepy Con, yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff coming up as soon as we get past. Well, I guess it's the first of the year, all that'll start yeah. up. And, um, so we'll see uh, if anything else pops up between now and then. But we just couldn't leave while we're trying to get all these inspections done um, for the for the restaurant. So. Right. Um, and then uh, the Halloween Expo is is here in January, so there'll be a lot of people in town for that. Um, so that'll be that'll be fun. We we go and we don't vend at that, but uh, we go hang out and Trick or Treat Studios yeah. does though, and that's where we see all Trick or Treat Studios. Go and bother Anthony stuff. and Chris Afro. Yep. So uh, I think. Uh, about all I got. I can't think of anything else to run my mouth about, which is weird. <laughs> uh, new website. We're almost done. We're almost done with that. And God, uh, it's going to be yeah. so much better. I apologize for switching again, but uh, it was we, needed. Yeah, it's it was so well needed. needed. It was and well needed. So we're almost done. Done with that. Um, it's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass for for people you're gonna have to sign up you know we can move um accounts or you know you'd still have an account but you'll have to go in and change your password uh generate a new password and and it should work or you can just sign back up i i don't think it's that big of a deal to be a Mm. no you know it as soon as you order something you'll put uh your information in and then you're in so uh either way it doesn't matter uh, it just kind of seems like a pain in the butt when, you know, you get emails from a company and going, hey, you got to do this and do that. And, and then we just did that a couple of months ago. But, um, man, we just hated the website. So uh, the new one is uh, a lot more uh, so user-friendly. And um, and it's easier for us, too. Uh, our last one was a really custom site, but we're not programmers or anything so uh having to depend on other people to to do stuff um that don't know about horror uh it makes it hard and it's not it's not their fault it's just you know if 
if I had a website about aquariums and I don't know anything about aquariums, it's hard to write about it or tell you anything about it or, you know, design a website around aquariums if I don't know anything about aquariums. So uh, this one, we have full control and uh, uh, there's enough of us that we can, we can figure it out. Uh, so I think it'll be a lot better for everybody. Um, we have gift cards on this one, which has been a huge pain because of the way our systems were set up. Uh, so this one, uh, it's in-store, online, and conventions. We use the same system, the same thing. Uh, if you buy a, uh, a gift card, you can use it online, in the store, at a convention. You know, it won't matter. So uh, it's going to be a lot more user-friendly for us. I was saying it's going to help us with inventory too. Oh yeah, that, that was a big issue is having to pull it out and then systems not talking to each other and yeah, it was a big headache. So yeah, yeah so if you ever need to know how to not do a website, you can call me, <laughs> and I can tell you all the stuff you don't want to do. Uh, Nightmare Philip on Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I go by. Uh, Shelly Moth. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So uh, hopefully that will be rolled out in the next uh, few days. Um, that's about the biggest thing. I think that's the biggest thing we have. Restaurant and the website. Yeah, it's the two things that we've just yeah. been working on, and that's it, and focusing on. Yeah, so... We're getting there. Trying to get products in, too. Um, we're about to get an, another NECA order in, right? Yeah. Um, we are. We should have some stuff in soon. And uh, I, I hadn't finalized it yet, so I'm not sure what's coming. But, um, but we'll find out today. And uh, then we're we can let you know later. Still waiting on Ghostface stuff from Fun World. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's just that's on them. We're just waiting for them to ship. Yeah. But I do have these two skulls. Yes, he does. Yeah. <laughs> Which the, from Fear Street, nineteen eighty four. Was that? The yeah. Eighty four was yeah. that the first movie? Yes. So um, the regular skull we are about sold out of. Uh, we had a lot of pre orders on, them, but we have plenty of the burnt skull. I love both of them. Which I kind of like the burnt skull. Me too. More. Yeah, me too. Actually, so, but I, I like that. It, they're kind of similar to the Halloween 3 skull, but they're, like, shaped differently in the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then I think we have the cloaks still on the way for it. Um, so, yeah, so if you're a fan of the series, um, these masks are available right now. Um, and then for those asking, the Halloween ends, I believe they get revealed next week. Yeah, I think the 12th, they're going to... The like 12th the, or 15th? The, uh, the 15th when they start shipping. When they start shipping. I think, okay. I think it's like the 12th or 13th they reveal it. Yeah. Okay. But are they doing... Are we doing pre-orders? Because they, sh well, they said pre-orders. we've been waiting we didn't, we didn't yeah. know, so... Uh, yeah, we were weighing on pricing and everything. Like, we don't know anything. Yeah, so, so. I think they've got it all nailed down now, and, and we'll have some... Uh, I either uh, or we don't even have to do a pre-order I don't think because I think we'll have them by the time we yeah. can we can do it so uh, whatever you know we'll get a lot of orders so it'll take us a couple yeah. of days to go through them but if you get your order in then uh, you know we'll get it out as soon as possible we've already seen it <laughs> yeah there's a bunch of them on this warehouse but hopefully we'll get those and get them out to everybody and that way people can wear them in theaters. Yeah. Or at home. Wherever you want Where, to Wherever it. they're going to watch the movie. <laughs> Which, I think for Halloween, I think I am going to play the movie, like, the day it's out. Like, just to have it playing in store. Okay. So, I, th I think I'm going to do, like, a... Every day have something different playing that way. Like, one day will be, like, kids, and then we'll have, like, a theme going. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like, so Myers Mondays will play, like, Halloween movies or something. And if you come in the store, make sure you answer Brian's trivia questions. 
Yeah, yes. I, mean, I post the trivia questions on my on my Instagram. Um, some people don't like it. <laughs> oh, <that's- laughs> Most people like it, but some people are like. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I, I, I like to make hard <laughs> questions. Um, yeah, to, to I'm just like, if you don't like the question, it's his fault. The Chud one if you was don't not like me. the answer. It's his fault. The, the, <laughs> oh yeah, Chud the, the was Chud Dylan. was Shelly. Chud, yeah, that, Chud that was, was not Dylan. me. Yeah. Um, today's question though is for Doug Bradley because it's his birthday. Yes, I haven't posted it yet, so we'll post that. And then I do have the pricings for the autos, so we'll get that put up. Um, for for Felissa the signing and for Felissa and Dave. So I'm not sure exactly how many masks he's bringing. But I'm guessing it's going to be limited. Yeah. So I think normally he only does like 10 at a time. Well, tell everybody about that. Yeah. So, um, Felissa is $40 for auto or $20 just for a selfie. Um, free selfie if you buy the auto. Um, and then Dave was, uh, $40 for the autograph, $40 for the photo. And then the masks are going to be a hundred dollars. Because he's bringing the what's up? It, yeah, it's Ghost the what's up? Uh, handmade, hand painted replica mask, which he doesn't even have on his site. So he rarely makes them now because he, him and Felissa are always filming movies. Yeah. Well, that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd yeah. be cool. Yeah, I would say the mask is very cool. Um, I have one hanging up in my house right now, from when I, like, a year ago almost, I think. So. Yeah, they're always fun, so that'll be fun. Yeah, I was saying. Fun signing. Dave will be dressed up as Doofy. Um, Everybody loves that. Don't ask, just don't smell whatever he asks you to smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Funny. Yeah, it just ends up bad. <laughs> but it'll be a fun time. Phyllis is always a fun person to be around, yeah. so is Dave. Yeah. So. It'll be a fun time. Yep. And we're trying to get with Peter, our, the agent that we go through, to see um, who else we can get to for the rest of the year for signings. So we'll mm-hmm. see. We'll make announcements later. Yep. I think that's it. We still have a lot to talk about this week. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, about, it's about the same. So, well, let's get out of here then. Yep. We got to go uh, sit over at the restaurant for a little while. Yep. So they're going to do that. I'm going to watch the birds. <laughs> <laughs> so the birds next week. The birds. So go watch the birds. Go watch the orphan movies. Tell us what you think. You can message me on my Instagram and tell me what you think. Yep. And then watch live with Christy on Wednesdays. Yep. All right, guys. All right. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.